Welcome back to another video. Today we are painting Commander Shadow Sun, also known as Osha Sarah. This model is going to start off like most of the ones that I do, uh, primed in black with a white zenith all highlight from above. And for the first part, we're going to be painting all the parts that are black, but I sometimes like to do kind of like a real dark gray so that later the contrast around it can still be brought forward more. We need a new craft board because this one's getting messy and it's not making for very good television. Yeah, there's a lot of paint on it. From the black, now we're gonna do old twin gray. When I've got harder panels like this, I try to use a flat brush to avoid brush strokes. With the base coat of Ophel and Gray done, now I'm bringing out the Apothecary White, the uh, contrast paint from a Citadel. I was aiming to pull a gradient from uh, light to dark, but ended up kind of drying too fast, so didn't get quite what I wanted. I used to have a box of 100 paper clips, and I thought to myself, why would I ever buy a box of 100 paper clips? I'll never use 100 paper clips. Guess what? I no longer have paper clips in my box. I, I used a couple of them. What I liked about this figure in particular is the optional hair helmet combinations that were provided in the box. Jason went with this helmet bun combination, but there was also an option to have a very long ponytail uh, and then also an option to have just a helmet. And of course, we went with the uh, chic but still safe bun helmet option. Why did you make her bun red? Why didn't you make her blonde or brunette? Uh, I think that's her natural hair color, but uh, maybe a hairstylist or something. We could have gone in brown on that. That would have, it just looks like a piece of armor. You have to be, you know, it looks like a piece of armor. Mm, that's it's actually her hair. Missed opportunity. So if you don't want to be critiqued like me, try to push a little bit brighter and go more, put more orange and yellow into it to bring it much more of a red hair. To finish up the helmet, I do some edge highlighting with white. I was pretty happy with how the skin turned out on this and the lens needed like slightly less so, but um, I originally intended to magnetize the helmet, but uh, ultimately decided not to. I just didn't think that would be worth it on, uh, I don't think I would have taken it off and on that much. So at this point you can see that I'm using a lot of red here because I'm not using the classic colors for Shadow Sun. I'm putting Shadow Sun in the Viola set. Um, Viola is, the, is my army, so I figured might as well make it match. Again, I'm putting down some black paint and it's really thin. These particular parts we're using German Grey from Vallejo. To keep it consistent with the rest of my army, I'm painting this little panel on the uh, fin of this drone red. everyone's favorite panel liner. That's already black. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be a red tone on there, just a little bit more red on it. You couldn't tell. So we're continuing with the panel lining here and a lot of these gaps and uh, small areas. I sometimes do use the panel liner, sometimes I use Nolan Oil. going through and picking out the gold parts and painting those up over on the drones too. Kind of jumping around just because I've got each of the individual parts pinned but doing the edge highlighting. I 
back to the gold parts using the panel liner to uh, put some contrast on the gold parts. Even beyond the panel lining, I'm making sure that the upturned parts of the model also are a bit brighter than the bottom, reinforcing the uh, xenophall highlighting that we originally started with. Your fingers are ruining this shot. They're nicely trimmed. It's a small part. It'd be a lot more satisfying if your fingers were in the way. I'll try to levitate it next time. Now I'm gonna finish up the sash on the side arm here, making sure that this is well highlighted. As a finishing touch, there is a, kind of a gray portion of the pistol. I love these little tufts of grass. Oh. Nobody else sees the tufts oh. of grass right now. We'll get to those later. Now we'll pass the white edge highlighting. We're going to do the red armor highlighting. This is working from the Mephiston red all the way up to Wild Rider red. So something I haven't tried before, but I'm going to attempt to do some plasma glow. Um, this is a Experimental for me, but starting with a white background and all of the uh, portions here and putting blue on the side um, and kind of making it wet around and mixing them while, while it's still wet. There also appears to be some sort of plasma behind her head, so we're gonna do the same thing. It's going to be all white, keep it wet, and then put blue around the side and mix them together. Um, keeping the blue on the sides, the white in the middle to make it seem like it's glowing. Again, trying to be a little bit more fancy. Um, I'm also going to attempt to do some OSL, so I'm going to put some of that blue real thin on here and then continue it to the back of Shadow Sun's head. It's supposed to be OSL lighting from all that uh, nuclear fusion going on behind her head. Now I'm just gonna continue to uh, put some more white highlights on it, edge highlighting. I've got the edge highlighting done. I'm gonna kind of go back over and try to put small little gradients on here. It's, you can see I'm pulling the paint in one direction and then in the other and trying to make uh, brighter spots and darker spots of the, uh, of the apothecary white underneath it. This is some um, edge highlighting with black and just using a gray. I 
I paint all my drones the same. I uh, use this part back here and paint it metal, like some sort of exhaust port or something. Here I'm uh, painting a lens on a drone. Um, just starting with dark blue and get lighter, moving it from uh, top to bottom, uh, an angle, and then just a dot of white in the opposite corner. As I get done with the section, I uh, take it off the paper clip and uh, move it on to the model. I've seen a couple people uh, modify the model and get rid of the double arm thing. Uh, but that's not something that I can do, so here we go. I'm using a wide brush uh, when I'm painting the train here, just want to make sure I'm getting figure also has a very large base so large that it's probably not going to fit in your figurine holder thing. I'm sure that has a name. I don't know what it is, but you're just going to have to hold that in your hand and hope you don't get paint all over you. Did you create this bumpy stuff here? Or did that come on the base of the figurine? No, I put that on there. I like that. I kind of want to pick it off. Please don't. But I like it. In order to keep it from flaking up so much, I did put a combination of water and Elmer's glue on it to kind of hold it together a little bit better. You could have also probably used Mod Podge. Is that the same thing? It's like a brand name. Mod Podge, it's already water and glue mixed together for crafts. Okay. Just building up more highlights and uh, picking out the gun shells here and getting them, uh, just painting them in gold. I think you end up missing a couple of gun shells and had to go back and paint them, so just take your time and I think even with a dry brush you'll, you'll find them all. Now we're kind of coming to my favorite part of the figure, which is the base. I think the bases just look cool. Uh, they give you the most texture and I think the most creative license. Um, I really love these tufts of grass. This came in a set and with different dirts and those kind of things. These little grass tufts are fun. And you can even see right here that I am helping to apply some of those grass tufts with just some basic Elmer's glue. Oh, here's the final part of the figure. And I forgot to paint that part. And always remember to paint the rim. That's it, that's the end. Commander Shadows I painted in the uh, Bureau Last Set. And there is the finished project. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. So goofy.